Okay, you guys, welcome back. It is Sweet Tea Cup. So first, make sure you subscribe to the channel, put on your notification, share the video, like the video, and don't forget to comment, you guys. Okay, you guys. All right, so this is going to be a long video. Uh, just longer than normal than what I've been putting out. Okay, you guys. So, I want to touch on a lot of things. Um, I, I do. I am still strong on just showing proof and motive that this man child is still a liar. Okay. Again, I want you to go back to... August 23rd, 2022. Dumbass did a video <clears throat> that's titled The Real Reason Royalty Left Me. Allegedly, Dumbass stated that they didn't have friendship in their relationship. He said, oh, well, that, you know, <clears throat> that's one of the reasons that <clears throat> me and Royalty, we wasn't getting along because we never had that friendship. He was stating that royalty left because of the lady's dumb ass was taking pictures with. Remember the situation, the incident? <clears throat> you know, that's always a fucking incident when it comes to him involving women. But this last incident where he was at a club slash restaurant and that was a particular night he had royalty's son. Leon there, why? I don't know. When it's... When there's ladies with their booties out and there's drinking the alcohol, I, not a good parental guidance situation at all. But that particular incident that went viral on the internet when he was taking a picture with two ladies, I believe both was Caucasian, and one of them <clears throat> looked like she was <clears throat> excuse me, kissing him on his cheeks. But one of the problems about that picture as well is where he had his hands placed. He had one of his hands literally, pretty much, it was like almost placed on the lady's butt. So like I said, you go back and look at that video. Uh, you can look at many videos that were put out about that situation where he was, you know, Caught up in another situation where he's taking a picture with some woman or doing something he has no business doing. And also in that video, while you're looking at that video, make sure you pay attention to where he is talking really nasty to her to tell her she better shut her damn mouth. Now, <clears throat> let's get into the shit. <clears throat> Allegedly, first of all, dumbass, you are not smart. If you were so smart, you wouldn't be in the shit that you are in now. He stated that he didn't stay out of his, he stated that he didn't say out of his own mouth that he pointed at who did the crime or who was responsible. Now that is a lie, a lie, and a lie. Dumbass did state it that it was royalty and the rapper. You all seen the videos. You know he stated that. Dumbass stated that maybe he wasn't in his right state of mind. So he said, oh, um, now this, you got this is the video I'm referring to, uh, the video he just put out. Supposed to be his fake ass apology video. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Has a grown ass woman. That's 59 years old. What I teach my 14 year old grandson. <clears throat> you cannot apologize. And accuse someone in the same fucking sentence. <clears throat> okay. Dumbass you are crazy. He is you guys. I have my right to have my opinion. He is crazy. He's sick. He's pathetic. And he's see, you know, he's a dangerous person to be around because he plays with people's life and freedom. And that's not something you can just sweep under the rug and act like it's no big deal. I don't understand why some of these damn supporters are still saying, I love you. The only thing I can think of, they must be teen. They must be underage. Allegedly, 
he stated that he came out of his mouth that he'd been through a public big breakup. Now, oh, you got this one from the first video, the one I told you to go back and review. He stated that the reason why he was acting the way that he did, because it was the first time he ever been in the first big breakup. But it was his dumb ass, you guys, that brought the shit to the fucking internet. Roger hadn't said a word. There he goes again, making excuses for shit that he created. He also stated that he didn't believe in marriage. This man was never going to marry royalty. So, if he was never going to marry her, he was never married to her. I'm so sick of him trying to use a life <coughs> insurance policy as if, we, as if African Americans are dumb as fuck. That's the only thing I can think of. He must be thinking because we are black that we are ignorant, uneducated. Anybody should know. Like I said, go back and review one of my previous videos. If you are not that person's spouse or mother, if that person dies, you get nothing. They don't give a damn if you was his girlfriend for 15 years. It doesn't matter. Now, unless he left that policy in her name as a beneficiary, then yes. But we all know he ain't going to do no dumb shit like that. This man ain't put her name on nothing. He ain't put her name on, on the cars, the houses. He didn't put her name on the, um, the, account, the YouTube channel. CJ so cool and family. Family. I ain't talking about the one now because, you know, he went into family off. He didn't put her name on shit. So why the hell would he put her name on a goddamn policy? If he didn't want to give a shit when he was breathing and living and walking and lying and cheating, why the hell he want to leave her any goddamn thing? That's a lie. You got to think and use your brain. And I'm talking about the ones that's underage that act like their fucking brain is not mature yet. Because I don't get it. But I do get it. So now dumbass want to put the blame on us. He, he, in the video. Oh, I was pointing fingers at everybody because of you or because of the comments. Now let's say who does the damn comments. The YouTube, the YouTube community. We do the comments. So now we're the reason why you said that Royalty and the rapper was responsible for your Home invasion. You know, at first you say, somebody put a hit out on me. Well, obviously it wasn't a fucking hit. It was a robbery. Make it make sense. So you lied about that. But I don't see you saying, oh, well, I lied about that. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, when I say somebody put a hit on me, oh, of course not. We're going to sweep that shit under the rug. Dumbass stated that he blamed messy pants because the other side blamed messy pants. So we all know that he is against sweeping somebody under the rug, throwing you under the bus. He's trying to say, oh, because Royalty was saying she was um responsible. That's the only reason I blame her. You sound like a goddamn fool. But yet secretly, after his dumbass was shot the fuck up and while he was in the hospital, he was trying to reach out to all. Oh, I mean, he was trying to reach out to Royalty, trying to convince her to get back with him. That's why he stayed and came out of his own mouth. Oh, I guess I better call Lexi back because I just broke up with her. I can see through the smoke. I can read between the lines, boy, of the shit that come out of your mouth. This man just can't keep Royalty and her kids out of his mouth, his mind, or his fucking dreams. It's like a stalker behavior at this point for me. He is stalking them. Dumbass is still playing the same game. Telling the YouTube community that royalty is on drugs and has a gambling problem. Now you know, <coughs> grandma finna go poke holes in that shit. I'm gonna prove to you who's the one that got a gambling problem and who's on fucking drugs. So we're going to cover the gambling problem first. It was his ass who left Indiana, left his first baby mama. You best believe because he didn't want to deal with the responsibility of being a father and paying child support. Yes, that's my fucking opinion. 
He the one that came to Vegas working in casinos. He the one that borrowed two loans in his name only. With his signature, one for $850,000, another, another one for $825,000. It ain't that, you guys, I can't lie on this shit. He can't spend that much on clothes that he claimed. Oh, I bought the um, clothes and stuff for uh, the family. Pampers did. Ain't that much pampers and clothes that could rank up to that amount of fucking money. He no longer have the houses that he claimed that he purchased and owned. Not a one. <clears throat> he sold many of his cars back. Remember? He said when watching them laps, he sold the cars. He probably owe more in debt than what he fucking bring in now for an income. Most importantly, dumbass, he need the money for all his stupid ass bills and debt that he created. Listen to what I'm saying. I guarantee you ain't a one of them bills got royalty name on it. Why? Because he was greedy and selfish. And look how that shit came back, comma, back on his ass. <clears throat> now let's cover the joke. So for me re saying all that, who do you think... Would be a person that probably would have a gambling problem. Who would need the money more? Let's see. Dumbass that owe all this money for loans and debt and all this. Selling cars. Don't have a fucking house to piss in. A royalty. Make it make sense. Okay, let's cover the drug part. You can't talk it and bash it and lie on royalty and the kids. It's constantly with you. All the time. Every time you do a video. <coughs> Your fucking lips are always white and chap. I say, why this man lips always fucking white? You turn into Superman, remember? During the whole invasion. You the one that gave us description of how you was fighting and you did this shooting here. I had this a drilling. He turned into Superman. I can't make this shit up. So you guys, who do you think the one that seemed to be on drugs? Dumbass or royalty. Royalty is always at home with the kids. When does she have time? Let me tell you all something who dumbass so remind me of. And when I tell you who this person is, I want you, if you don't mind, <clears throat> if you don't know who he is, I want you to Google his ass up. But make sure you get your parents' permission if you're under the age. And then ask your parents, I want you to sit down with your parents and I want you to look at this goddamn movie because this is a true story. This dumbass remind me of the reincarnation of Ike fucking Turner. He remind me so much of Ike. When Royalty left with them kids, that killed his fucking dreams. His dreams was to be the most popular Famous African American YouTube in his YouTube street. He wanted that 10,000 subscribers award. He still do want it. And he would go to any link to get it. And that is my fucking opinion. That man is pissed the fuck off. Allegedly, we all know his fucking ass have mama issues. We know he has mama issues. This man child don't want any woman to leave him. Are you kidding? That pisses him off. Think about it, you guys. When he was with Royalty for the whole nine years, remember how he would treat Nike? How, I mean, he been all on the video with Royalty talking about, oh, you know, he was defending Royalty and said, oh, how Royalty is a better mom and Nike this, Nike that. Dude, this shit do not sound familiar. Do this... Do not put you back down memory lane. The way how he treated Nike for nine years is exactly how he's treating Royalty now because now he has messy pants. This man is going to do everything. I am. Trust me when I say this. 
I need someone to wake up and listen to me. Because I'm going to tell you, there's some shit that happened to people when it could have been pre- pre- uh, prevented. This man is going to go to any length. Anything he has in his power to destroy royalty and those kids. He want them homeless, broke, and hungry. That's what he want because they chose to no longer be in a relationship, a family situation with him. He want them left with nothing. All for what? For the clout, the views, and the money. Did not state it in my last video. What was one thing I stated? I said that when he finally addressed the situation about them two goddamn loans, he was going to put that shit on royalty and them damn kids. And he just did it. I said he was going to put it on them, saying that how he spent all the money on them. What a lie, lie, lie. Now you all know, we all seen it on every video. In his name, out of his mouth, him doing box opening, showing items, jewelry, things that he bought for himself. Every video. Yes, did he buy them some gifts and some things? Yes. Gifts, you got things. The things that he bought Roy to those kids, you can count it on your goddamn two hands. But you can't count the things that he bought his goddamn self. Not you couldn't count it with 50 people hand. And let's not forget, he was spending money too, remember, on the network. Oh, I'm networking. Going to the club. <clears throat> Punching bottles of champagne on fire. You know, I'm sure that shit costs money to get girls to walk around with their little bathing suit on, bikinis on, and holding up a fucking sign. That's not something free. That's a VIP treatment. This man spent that money, the majority of that money on his goddamn self. And let's not forget the booty pics that he was secretly getting from other women. Booty pics on his goddamn phone. Now, I'm going to end this by saying how I think the plot, not the whole situation, because I already covered that. If you missed the video, because I already covered the video, how, how this shit went down. I already solved the issue. <clears throat> but I want to cover <clears throat> how I think dealing just with the plot situation, the skit, that his ass is in, and I'm going to say it again. Obviously, his ass got shot because he was in a hospital and they confirmed that he was shot. My question was always, how did he get shot? Did he play a part in that situation? Did he set it up? So, this is allegedly my feelings, my thoughts, and my words. I kept going back. Over and over to when Royalty Mama said the night that Royalty pulled the fuck up and her Nike had that what they did. When Royalty Mama say a prank gone wrong. I'm going to tell you just that sentence you guys. So. Dumbass now. He's beginning to spill the tea little by little in little bit pieces. You got to listen to what he's saying. Because, see, you know, I always, you know, when I said one thing about kids, children, underage, they're going to say, they get scared, they're going to tell. And, you know, he's getting a little scary now because he, he's a man child. He got a mind like a fucking child. So he's spilling some of the little tea a little bit. So this is what I think, what this plot generated from. A prank gone wrong. I believe that when dumbass knew Royalty found out about those two loans, when Royalty somehow or another found out about them two got their loan, $850,000 and $825,000, I believe Royalty was upset. And who fucking wouldn't be upset? Imagine you working your ass off with your kids for nine years. Someone that you trusted that had you all best interest. And the money that y'all work for together and you find out that this man took out too fucking long. I want you to think 
especially the grown-ups. You know what it's like. Have you ever been in a situation where you was married, married to somebody or you was with someone and y'all had a house together, but they went out behind your back and took out a second mortgage? You know that shit would piss you off. And you are going to confront them and say, why the hell would you do something like that? So I believe that's how royalty came about finding out about that money. No, I don't think this was ever something that her and him agreed with together. He too greedy. Look how he carried himself and lived his life. He went and got them loans on his fucking own. On his own. For whatever reason, he could have had good intention from the beginning of, I'm going to get this loan to help with my YouTube video. Because you're not saying mine. Because that's what he said. He think he do everything by himself. But that's not how that went once that money hit his pockets. So, at that point, I think she was pissed. And I think even at that point, she had pretty much had enough. But I think Walter still stuck around. But when the cheating kept going and when that last drop hit, when he was in that club with her fucking son. And he was doing inappropriate things that he should... <coughs> He should not have been doing it while her son was present. And he should not have been doing it because he was in some form of a committed relationship with royalty. So once that hit the fan and went viral about them pictures, that's why she did that video. Like I say, you go back and look at that video and you look at the tears in her face. That is pretty hurt. Hurt. I think that was the last draw. Now, we all know, because he even proved in his videos that he loved to say, oh, royalty run back to his mama. Even some of you all that's uh, royalty hated, all she did is run back to her mama. So, I'm pretty sure she told her mama about the money, told her mama, meant every time he cheated. And at that point, I think royalty had too much, and her mama said, get them kids and leave. And that's what she did. And she had every right to make that decision. She did not create those loan situations for him. He did that shit on his own. You cannot make her be responsible for some shit that he created. And when Royalty left with them kids, he realized that he was going to be stuck and by himself caught up in that bullshit with that money. And all them bills. Because he was greedy. And he put everything in his goddamn name. I believe now. How everything. Um, plant also. I'll tell you something else. I'm going to go a little bit farther. And like I said. This only just me. My thinking. <coughs> There's no proof to any of this thing. What I'm saying. It's just what I'm thinking. We're going to back it up a little bit. When Rodney discovered the money and shit, because see, like I said, little man, your mouth will be your downfall. You told you told on yourself a little bit in this video that you did today. He stated that he set Rodney down and the kids. He said, I set the whole family down and we talked about it. It wouldn't surprise me if when he talked about that money, he did not say, I have a plan. And I believe his plan was this fucking skit is what's going on in his life right now. Not to the degree that it's in. The shooting and this. That's why royalty mama said you got to think. A plan gone. A prank gone wrong. I believe he tried to convince royalty. To do this prank with him. What him and messy ass are doing. Maybe that's a sign deal that they did. And royalty didn't want to do it. And after he got caught with the girl shit, it was just too much. It was too much shit on her shoulder. So she left. And that pissed him off. So, obviously he continued with his little plan. Because listen, you guys, he got to pay back that money. And when Royalty left, he knew the views was going to drop. Even though he never wanted to come out and tell the world that he knew that the people that really put them views on his channel was royalty and them damn kids. But he never want to admit that. But it's showing in the views. And like I say, you guys, all for the clout, the greed, the views, and the money. 
This is why this man want to destroy her and them damn kids. He want to take them down. Because at the end of the day, he don't want to be left in this bullshit by himself. Even though messy pants ass is there, him and her are not getting the views. And baby mama number one, ass is tied in it because he ain't getting the money. She don't get her fucking child support. His messy ass family is tied in the shit too. Because if he don't get the money, they don't get shit. Whatever the shit he was throwing to them. This is why they all in the shit. At the end of the day, they came all into the shit. They carry out this skit. Plot, it got out of hand. So now they got to go through it. Because the shit. Just don't got too hot. So like I say, that is my opinion. And at the end of the day, he created all this shit himself. He was greedy. He kept everything in his name. He made all the choices. He bought every house. He picked the house himself. It doesn't matter if he said, oh, Roger wasn't happy. The kids messed it, mess, it doesn't matter. You bought everything. You chose everything. You borrowed the money. You chose how you're going to spend that money. This shit falls on his back and his fucking back alone. And I am done with this shit. Talk to y'all ass tomorrow.